How good are the Canada goose pilots? They are very expensive. We could take a look at one of them. This one is Canada goose Macmillan Parker. It's rated tier 3. Tier 3 means it's minus 10 to minus 20. Which is not too bad, yeah? considering in Toronto, we're in Toronto, uh, minus 20 is good enough. So I got this grey color, nice logo. It's size small, for me size small fits nicely. So there's two outside pockets on the bottom for your for your hands. There's one inside pocket. But inside pocket, see this? The zippers on sideways. It's not on the top, it's on the sides. So that is something you have to remember. Because this messed me up me up big time. That means you cannot put anything long inside. It will just come right out. If it's on the top, you can leave the zipper open and just put things in. Which is why I added a pocket to this side. So you can put envelopes and whatnot, some longer stuff inside. So it could sit up here. Longer stuff. So my main complaint is the zipper uh, for the pocket inside pocket. Warmth wise, I always say it's pretty warm. It's not the warmest, but it's pretty warm. So minus 20 they claim. I would say minus 20 that's including the wind chill. If it's colder than minus 20 with the wind chill, this will not do it. Actually, it might do it for other people, depending on who's wearing it. For me, I wear a little tank top under my little sweater and then put on my jacket for me minus 20 is good over minus 20 I'm gonna upgrade my tank top to a thermal shirt all right so the jacket has double zippers so you can zip it up and then if you need you could release the bottom so you could you know Grab whatever from your pocket, sit down, you know, you need to go to the toilet. Uh, you can go like this, man. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't go to the toilet with a jacket on. You know, it's, uh, especially with the expensive one, you know, you really don't want to get any, uh, you know, poop stain on it. It's not worth it. Take off your jacket. Uh, the uh, dry cleaning is going to be pretty expensive and it stinks for a while, you know, if you don't get it as dry clean. Anyway, so zip it up. You got a, that little goose tunnel thingy, kind of that goose trademark, whatever. Uh. So I got that tunnel vision. Yeah, keeps the face nice and warm. A little wind. Yeah, looks like a goose, huh? Zombie. Hey, this will keep your face really warm. This one doesn't come with any fur. But I don't need any fur on this one anyway. So the problem I have with this jacket is this uh, pocket. The zippers on the side instead of the top, so I cannot put longer stuff. And then there's fabric over here. We're here somewhere. Once you zip it up, if you're not careful when you go down, sometimes it bite right into it. Bite right into it and it gets stuck. So you know when you need to go to the toilet or you just need to take it off because it's really really hot and then you just get stuck and you go oh 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 yeah. imagine you're standing on the on the uh, outside of the toilet and you need to use it and you go holy shit oh shit I can't take it out so it's something uh, I'm trying to get Canada Goose to address. I sent a warranty. See, I don't know if they can do anything about it. Because that's not always happen. 
feel like right now while I'm doing it, it doesn't happen. But it does happen once in a while. You put your hoodie up, you sip it up, you sit down, but it doesn't always happen. It just happens once in a while. So that bugs me. Yeah. So make a is this pocket and the zipper getting stuck over there. Other than that, uh, it's pretty warm. It's not the warmest. Um, minus 20 the claim, which is about right. Yeah, always people with a little bit more fat you know, ratio, and, uh, they have no problem with minus 25 or whatever. But for me, minus 20 is the maximum I will go like wearing like this. Uh, I will either put in a, a thicker jacket for the like, colder temperatures or upgrade my base layers like, into a uh, thermal shirt or something like that. It's waterproof, so it's good. Uh, if it's raining, you know, freezy rain, or somebody just throws snows at you, you know, you could just rub it right off. So it's good. Uh, so far, the uh, the feathers not coming out. I would say I'm happy with it. Uh, so with these two narrow problems, instead of five, I will give them four out of five. Alrighty. Thank you.